Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on the new Kaja Beauty Highlighter. This is the Roller Glow Roll-On Highlighting Balm. And this is only $34 Canadian at Sephora right now, and it is one of their newer products. If you don't know, I did like a whole little series on all like the products from Kaja Beauty that were at the Sephora near me. So you can go and check that out if you like. So I really like Kaja Beauty and their products. They're really natural. Well, most of them are very natural and kind of dewy and just easy to use. Like they're really quick and easy to use. You don't have to spend a lot of time fussing over them and stuff. There were a few products that I didn't really like so much, but for the most part, I did really like their products and I really liked their highlighters. So that is why I decided to pick this up. So I really liked the Mochi Glow Bouncy Highlighter. That's what it's called. Sorry, I just had to look down to see the name, but um, that one was really nice. I got mine in the kind of like champagne golden color and it goes on really nice. It goes on really natural and it's really easy to use. So I decided to try their new highlighter out because it's so cool because it has like a little roller that you roll on your face and it looks like a little painting roller, which I thought was so cool. So I got mine in the shade 01 Cosmic Laundry and this is the only color that they have available right now with this particular product. On the Sephora website, all it says is that it's a unique roll-on highlighting balm that is infused with ultra-reflective pigments and ruby powder. So there is going to be like a pearlescent pink sort of reflect in it. It says this duochrome highlighting balm emits a pink pearlescent glow with a golden undertone to complement all skin tones. It reflects light creating a disco glow that dries to a lightweight powder finish. The smooth balm texture melts into the skin without caking. This unique roller applicator is designed to apply an even soft focus glow. Included is an additional hygienic roller so you can get the most out of your glow. So this does come with an extra little roller with it which is kind of cool because then you could use it for other products or use this one once this one's kind of like time to throw it out but then it also makes me wonder like is this kind of made not to last long and that's why you need two of them or what is that because I've never had a product that comes with two applicators in the one product. So one thing I'm noticing right away is that there's like insane amounts of like micro pink glitters in this and I was not expecting that because the other highlighter that I tried out by them was very natural and didn't have glitter in it. It was more like a dewy sheen sort of effect whereas this looks very glittery which I was not expecting. So I just wanted to try it with my finger and yeah it's like pretty much like pure micro glitters like this is not what I was expecting. I don't think you guys will be able to see it, but it's literally just like thousands of pink sparkles pretty much. So I am going to try this on my face, but that is just trying it with my finger. So I am going to try using the little roller thing for applying it, which they say you have to roll it on for a little bit to kind of warm it up and everything. And it kind of seems like it's taken a little bit here. Oh, there we go. It's starting to get past that first layer there and then you're supposed to be able to just kind of like roll it onto your skin huh that's really weird it almost doesn't have as many like sparkles in it then when I like kind of just use my finger to apply it this actually kind of helped diminish the look of the sparkles and makes it look a little bit more natural weird I wish I could show this to you guys, but I don't think my camera will pick it up, but this just looks kind of like dewy with some sparkles in it, but definitely not as much as like with just my finger. So I am just going to try applying this to my cheekbones and I will be using the little, applica <laughs> the little applicator that came with it because it seems to work better that way and I'm sure there's a reason they use this applicator. I'm really having a hard time like picking up enough product though. Alright, can you guys see that? That actually gave a glow. The one thing that I was really excited about this for was I was thinking like 
I don't know about you guys, but I always have a really hard time finding, like, where to put my highlighter exactly, like, where the top of my cheekbones really are, like, because I don't really know that well, <laughs> if that makes sense. I guess I don't really have, like, prominent enough, like, cheekbones to find them. Sorry, Bud's in here with me again, so he's making some noises, as per usual. So I thought this, like, if you stick it on your face, it's gonna initially obviously hit the part that's like sticking out the most so yeah I thought that was kind of cool so I am getting some like kind of like lines where the edge of this is kind of like hitting my face so I'm just gonna stick this on the other side of my cheek but you can definitely see the difference hey like there you can see it there's definitely a glow factor there and it's definitely not as micro glittery as I thought it was gonna be I kind of feel like if you go out into the sun though, you are going to be able to see those micro glitters so it's not going to look like a completely natural highlight. I do feel like it kind of runs out of product really easy though. Like I don't know if the sponge is like soaking it up or what. Sorry, I like to take my highlight onto my cheekbones a little bit. Or not my cheekbones, my actual like apples of the cheeks. So obviously it does like give a really nice glow to the skin. It just kind of depends if you care if like when you're out in the sunlight if you see those like pink micro glitters because obviously when you see that that's not going to look natural and usually when I wear highlight I really like it to look basically just like I'm glowing from within and like don't have like stuff on my face you know what I mean. Honestly the best natural highlight I've ever found is this cushion highlight from Wet n Wild. Like, this thing is so good if you want a natural highlight. All it does is add, like, a literal, like, pearlescent finish to your skin. Like, not glitters or anything, but literally just, like, this pearlescent sheen to your skin. And it doesn't have any glitters or anything. It is, like, a pinkier toned sort of highlight. So I wish they would come out with, like, different tones and stuff. But honestly, I love this. This is what I wear when I don't have any makeup on. And I just want to add a little bit of highlight, maybe a little bit of mascara to my face. And then, like, that's it. But yeah, if you want a natural highlight, check this guy out. It's only like $3.99 or something too, so it's really inexpensive. I do have to say it's not like emphasizing any texture or like sinking into like pores or anything really. Like I feel like it's going on really smooth. I don't think it's smoothing out my skin, but I don't think it's making it look any worse than it already is. I do really think this is like a really cute idea, and I think we're going to see a lot of more cute kind of Gim almost gimmicky things from Kajua Beauty because they kind of seem like that's the direction they're kind of going in. By this way, by this way, <laughs> by the way, this thing is a magnetic closure, which is really nice. Packaging again, really cute. Like everything about this company is just so cute. They always have like cute ideas and just packaging and just kind of different things like they're trying to be different you know they're not just trying to like do the same thing as everyone else and honestly that's probably what got them into sephora and everything and notice because they are doing some like different and new and more creative things okay i don't know if you guys will be able to tell but this is like what it looks like right now but if i put like this sort of light on it it like intensifies it a lot but then you can sort of like start to see those micro glitters in there i don't know if that helped at all but Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do want to see more Kaja beauty reviews, I'll leave them linked down below. And yeah, I'm really excited that I got to share this with you guys and pick this up because I really do like the brand and what they're about and everything. Also, I am having a giveaway still. It is open to the end of January and it's for US and Canadian citizens only. So I'll leave that link down below as well or up in the cards or something. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!